Just two days ago, we witnessed the awe-inspiring sight of SpaceX's colossal Starship rocket soaring into the skies for its second monumental launch. Since then, the team at SpaceX has been meticulously analyzing every aspect of this event, probing into what went right and what didn't. Amidst this intense scrutiny, Musk has stepped forward with significant updates about the Starship rocket and its performance during the recent launch. Before we delve deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates and in-depth coverage of this groundbreaking rocket and its journey. The first orbital test flight of SpaceX's Starship in April was without a doubt a landmark event. However, this test also exposed several critical issues, especially with the Starship's engine system, leading to a comprehensive and rigorous investigation by SpaceX's engineering team. During the launch, it was observed that some engines failed to activate and others ceased functioning mid-flight. This was a matter of concern, as the reliability of the engines is crucial for the success of any space mission. To address these problems, SpaceX initiated a detailed analysis of the entire engine system. The investigation revealed multiple contributing factors to the engine failures. Firstly, the manifold system, which plays a vital role in distributing propellant to the engines, was found to be vulnerable to the extreme heat and pressure conditions of spaceflight. This vulnerability led to cracks and subsequent fuel leakage, which significantly hampered the engine's performance. Another critical issue was identified in the fuel pump system. The fuel pump is essential for delivering fuel to the engines at the required pressure and flow rate. The failure in this system meant that the engines were not receiving the necessary fuel to function correctly, leading to some engines shutting down during the flight. The hot air duct also faced challenges under the high temperature conditions experienced during launch and ascent. The excessive heat led to material failure, which in turn affected the overall efficiency and performance of the engine system. Furthermore, the hydraulic power unit system, responsible for controlling the movement of various engine components, underperformed due to the intense conditions. This affected the precision and responsiveness of the engine control mechanisms. Lastly, the ignition system, which is critical for starting the engines, did not perform as expected. Inconsistent ignition of the engines posed a significant risk to the stability and safety of the flight. To overcome these challenges, SpaceX undertook a significant redesign of the Starship's engine system. The manifold system was upgraded with materials more resistant to heat and pressure, thereby reducing the risk of cracks and leaks. The fuel pump system was re-engineered to ensure more reliable fuel delivery under the varied conditions of spaceflight. The hot air duct received substantial improvements, with materials capable of withstanding higher temperatures without degrading. This was crucial in maintaining the integrity of the engine system throughout the flight. The hydraulic power unit system was replaced with an electric TVC or thrust vector control system. This shift from hydraulic to electric systems was a strategic move to enhance the control and reliability of the engines. The electric TVC system offered more precise control over the engines, an essential factor for the intricate maneuvers required in space travel. Finally, the ignition system underwent a complete overhaul to ensure that each engine could be reliably and consistently ignited. This was a critical improvement, given that the success of the launch and the subsequent stages of the flight depend heavily on the timely and proper functioning of all engines. These improvements were tested in the second Starship flight two days ago, which marked a significant improvement for SpaceX. During this flight, a major achievement was the successful firing of all 33 engines on the Super Heavy booster. This was a crucial test of the revamped engine system, particularly the manifold system, fuel pump, and hot air duct, which had been extensively re-engineered to address the previous flight's issues. The successful ignition and operation of all engines provided the necessary thrust and stability for the initial phase of the flight, showcasing the effectiveness of the upgrades. The engines worked in unison, delivering the power needed for the Starship to ascend smoothly and reach the separation point. However, the mission faced challenges post-separation, revealing areas that still require attention. One of the middle engines of the Super Heavy booster failed to reignite after the Starship had separated. This malfunction led to a chain reaction, causing several other engines to shut down prematurely. 
The inability of these engines to reignite was a significant setback as it prevented the Super Heavy booster from performing its planned landing maneuver. The failure to land the Super Heavy booster is a reminder of the complexities involved in developing a fully reusable space launch system. The engines, particularly in the descent phase, must not only be able to restart, but also need to operate with high precision and reliability. The gimbal motors, responsible for directing the thrust of the engines and thus controlling the booster's descent, did not perform as expected. Their underperformance was a contributing factor to the failed landing attempt. In response to these challenges, SpaceX's engineers are intensively working on further refining the Starship's engine system. Their focus is on enhancing the engine's performance throughout the entire flight profile, from liftoff to landing. This involves not just ensuring the engines can reliably start and stop, but also that they can be precisely controlled during the critical phases of flight, especially during landing maneuvers. One key area of development is the Raptor 3 engines. These engines represent the next evolution in SpaceX's propulsion technology and are being designed with the lessons learned from both the previous Starship flights. The Raptor 3 engines are expected to offer improved performance, greater reliability, and better suitability for the demanding conditions of space travel. The development of these engines is critical, as they will be the powerhouse for future Starship missions, including those that will carry humans to the Moon and Mars. In addition to the engine improvements, SpaceX is likely also focusing on refining other aspects of the Starship and Super Heavy booster. This includes enhancements to the fuel systems, structural integrity, and thermal protection, all of which are crucial for the safety and success of future missions. SpaceX's iterative approach to design and testing, where each flight provides valuable data and insights, is crucial in the development of such a complex and ambitious spacecraft. The recent flight, despite its challenges, represents a significant step forward in this process. Each test, each adjustment, and each new development bring SpaceX closer to realizing their vision of making space travel more accessible and sustainable. With a third flight of the Starship anticipated before the year's end, SpaceX is rapidly implementing these advancements. These improvements will be crucial for the upcoming third flight, which will serve as a significant test of the spacecraft's design and capabilities. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.